Hello, in this video, we're going to look at the house edge and gambling markets. This is going to be the case of NFL money line bets. Bookmakers build in unfair odds to ensure their profit. Let's consider the upcoming Detroit Lions versus Jacksonville Jaguars game, where the American odds are minus 950 for the Lions and plus 640 for the Jaguars. Interpretation. Person needs to bet $950 on the Lions for a chance to win $100 of profit. Negative American odds or minus money line or negative money line, like in this case for the Lions, negative money line, indicates that the team is favored to win. So the Lions are the favorite team in this matchup. For a bet on Jacksonville, a person needs to bet $100 on the Jaguars for a chance to win $640 of profit. Positive American odds or positive money line, like plus 640, indicates the team is the underdog. They're expected to lose. Implied probability of the Lions winning is given as follows. The money line for the Lions was minus 950, so ignoring the minus sign, we take 950 and divide it by 950 plus 100, we get the implied probability of the Lions winning of a little over 90%. The implied probability of the Jaguars winning is calculated as follows, 100 divided by the positive money line on the Jaguars plus 100 equals uh, over 15% probability that the Jaguars win, will win. You'll notice that if we were to sum these two probabilities, that they exceed one, and they exceed one by 0 0.061. This access represents the bookmaker's advantage, sometimes known as the juice or vig. With these odds, the bookmaker's margin is, so we can calculate the bookmaker's margin by taking this 0 0.061 and plugging it in as follows. And we get 5.75%. The bookmaker's expected profit then is $5.75 for every $100 bet. If the bookmaker achieves balanced books, this return is risk-free. To determine balanced books, divide the implied probabilities. Here's the Lions winning divided by the probability that the Jacksonville Jaguars wins, and we get 5.79. This means for every dollar bet on the underdog, the Jaguars, the bookmaker needs approximately $5.79 bet on the favorite team, in this case the Lions, to achieve balance. Achieving balance here would uh, generate this risk-free return for the bookmaker. Let's illustrate that. So balance books analysis. The bookmaker collects $100,000 of bets in total on the Jaguars. For balance books, the amount bet on the Lions has to be 5.79 times this. So 579,000 and technically $48 bet on the Lions would ensure balanced books. The total amount collected by the bookmaker then is just the sum of these two numbers. Let's take scenario one. Let's say the Lions win the game. In this case, the bookmaker's payout to all those who bet on the Lions winning would equal 640,000. How do I get that? I take the amount bet on the Lions divided by the implied probability of the Lions winning. The bookmaker's profit then is the total amount collected by the bookmaker, the $679,048, minus the payout to the winners, those that bet on the Lions. We have a profit here of $39,048. In terms of the margin, take this $39,048 and divide it by the total amount of bets that the bookmaker collected, and you get the margin that we saw earlier of 5.75%. Let's now consider scenario two. What happens if the Jaguars were to win this game? 
So same scenario here, $100,000 bet on Jaguars, uh, $579,000 bet on Lions, same total amount collected. But this time, let's say the Jaguars win, the bookmakers pay out. So we take this 100000 of bets uh, collected on the Jaguars and divided by the implied probability of the Jaguars winning. And so the bookmaker would pay out these winning bettors a total of 640000 In terms of the profit, the amount collected by the bookmaker minus the payout once again leaves $39,048. The margin, once again, is 5.75%. So regardless of the outcome of the game, with balanced books here, the bookmaker earns a guaranteed $39,048 of profit or this 5.75% return or margin. Okay, that's it.